Hello, thanks for being here again today. I'm in Ezekiel chapter 36, and I'm going to read some verses starting at verse 25 that have a contrast between two ways of living. I will sprinkle clean water upon you, and you shall be clean from all your uncleannesses and from all your idols I will cleanse you. A new heart I will give you, a new spirit I will put within you. I will remove from your body the heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit within you and make you follow my statutes and be careful to observe my ordinances. And then you shall live in the land that I gave to your ancestors and you shall be my people, and I will be your God. I will save you from all your uncleannesses, and I will summon the grain and make it abundant and lay no famine upon you. I will make the fruit of the tree and the produce of the field abundant, so that you may never again suffer the disgrace of famine among the nations. Well, obviously, that was a prophecy for the nation of Israel. Um, uh, Ezekiel uh, speaking on behalf of their God. But I believe that that is also a metaphor for what happens to us in our own lives on a spiritual path. Now, it may happen much more gradually uh, than this particular scripture might indicate. Here, it just seems like a sudden a change that uh, one day our old heart is gone and our new heart is there. But I believe as we're on a spiritual walk, this is what happens to us slowly. As we become aware of new ideas and new ways of living, as we begin to reject some of the old things that we might have done and said as no longer appropriate. When we do what uh, Paul says in the New Testament, by renewing our mind and changing our way of thinking, it also changes our way of doing. And we find that our life is filled with abundance an abundance of joy, abundance of peace, an abundance of uh, tranquility and equanimity that was missing before. There's no, no longer much, so much confusion or so much um, wondering about the future, but we feel secure in our new life. We have, in fact, been given a new way of living and a new spirit. So I'm thankful that Ezekiel pointed the possibility of this out, not just to the nation of Israel, but metaphorically to all of us in our lives.